All right, you guys, so having a strong neck is important for boxing, not just to prevent knockouts when you get hit and keep your head solidly in place, but also so you can absorb the shots better when you're blocking and stay in a better position for countering. Now, there are a lot of neck exercises that you might see out there. A lot of them are catered towards wrestling, because with wrestling, it's very important to have a strong back of the neck because of the bridging. Also, to prevent snap downs. A lot in wrestling, there's a lot of snap downs. They want to keep their head up. Also, with wrestling, they go in for the double legs and they use their head to drive. Now, this is important for boxing, but what's more important is the front and the side of the neck because of the head position and where we're absorbing the blow. So I'm gonna show you some of my favorite exercises for the neck, to strengthen the neck for boxing and really help you absorb those shots. All right, so here's one of my favorite exercises for boxing, especially for the front and the side of the neck. These muscles are different. This is where you're absorbing the blow, also with the head turn. And it doesn't have to be complicated or complex. All I really like to do is a simple isometric and I kind of sort of move around. So you wanna get yourself a towel, fold it up, Nice, and get yourself to a wall. If you're at a gym where there's no towel, just use, let's say, an ab mat or anything that has padding. Now to start off easy, I set up against the wall, and I go on an angle, tuck my chin just a little bit, and press my head against here, and then I just relax. Now if this is too hard, I can come up higher, like so, or I can use my fingers for support. I would say you hold this 10, 15 seconds, and then you can come off. That's just the easy way to get started. It doesn't take much if you're new to this. It doesn't take much for the neck to really experience some resistance. So then you're going to build up. As you build up, I go lower here and here. I'm trying to get my body low so that the pressure is all in the front of the neck muscles right here. Now, if I find this hard, I can always use my fingers just for a little bit of support. So next, what I'd like to do is turn here. And now, I'm working the side of the neck right here. Now this, you might want to be careful, support yourself, especially if you're new. Don't just go and do some sideways break dancing right into the wall. Here, 10, 15 seconds, come back, support myself. Other side, 10, 15 seconds, working the side of the neck. You don't necessarily have to move it like a rep. Just hold the position, chin slightly tucked. The muscles are working, I guarantee you. Come back to center, and then come back up. You can do three to four sets of that, and depending on how the response is and how you feel, you can either push it or you can just go higher in time. I would say you don't really need more than 15 to 20 seconds of each side. So again, just to go through it with you, I go as low as I feel comfortable here, okay? I try to get my body straight if I can. All the pressure's in the front. You don't have to do anything like this. Okay, but if you want, sure, the muscles will be working, it'll be more challenging. If I'm going to turn sideways, it's going to be harder. The side of my head is not as strong as the front. The side of my neck is not as strong. So here I'm going to hold it. I might need to support myself. The side of the neck is working. I don't need to do anything extra, just hold the position. I come back to the center, turn the other side to balance it out. Okay, my neck is working on the other side. Back to center, and then come back up. Now this is what I like because it gives me the most pressure, most resistance. If you are really a beginner and want to take it easy, you can always work isometrics or reps with your hands resi resisting against your head. So one of the beginner ones here, just your fingertips. Here, 15 reps. Slowly. This is still going to work the neck muscles in the position that you need them. Same thing here. Resisting. Or you can even hold a band on this side if you can get that comfortably on your head. And work it. You, you got to find really what you like and what suits you. This is one of my favorites here, pressing against the wall. That's where I feel the most challenge, the most resistance, and it's kind of the level where I'm at. Same thing with the other side here. You can work some resistance and work it as reps, depending on what you feel comfortable with. But you definitely want to build up to something with a little more resistance like this. The lower you can get, the more challenging it's going to be. All right, let's go on to the next exercise. All right, you guys, so the next exercise we're going to work is for the back of the neck. Now, if you have a head harness where you can attach weights, then you can already just use that and hang off a bench, or you can just tilt your head forward. But a lot of people don't have the luxury of having that around, so here's some easy exercises that you can do for the back of the neck. The head already is about five pounds. So here, all you have to do is just get yourself into a position where it's hanging off and just use the weight of the head alone. I can go 15, 20 reps here. 
If you're new, this is all you need to do. Five, and you're gonna feel it. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I would go all the way up to 15 just to work it here. And if you're new again, you're gonna feel this. If this is challenging or not really that challenging for you, you wanna take it up a level, you can just use your fingers for a little bit more resistance. This already is hard. If I really push, I can almost entirely dominate my head just with my hands alone, not even using that much pressure. So same idea, you would want to do this, three to four sets, 15 reps, 10 to 15 reps, build up the intensity, use your hands for more resistance. This combined with the wall exercise is going to work your neck all the way around. All right, so having a strong neck, important for boxing, and it's also important to know the muscles that matter, primarily the side and the front of the neck. The exercises that you saw me do, they're some of my favorites. That's what I've come to over the years. You can always start easy ones at home using isometrics, using your hands, some resistance, and then build it up after that. The back of the neck or the trapezius goes into the head is important, but it's not as important for boxing as it is for wrestling. So you don't want to just focus on this. This is what you see in the HBO Live 24-7, always working with head harness, working back, but it's also important to work the front and the side. Combine these exercises, it's going to give you a stronger neck, going to help you absorb shots, prevent knockouts. It's going to really pay off in your boxing. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.